Hey, welcome to everybody. This is Sports uh, News. I'm Joe Borick, and if you enjoy the content, please can subscribe to help us grow to 215 by the end of March. It's going to be a video on Landon Collins parting ways with the Commanders after they couldn't restructure his contract after they acquired Carson Wentz. On top of that, Khalil Mack getting traded to the San Diego, or the LA Chargers, I should say. They are now the Los Angeles Chargers, where in that um, for the Washington Commanders, we'll start there. Losing Landon Collins is a huge blow. When it came to getting Russell Wilson for Denver, they had to give up Shelby Harris. I actually called him Shelby Miller, the pitcher of baseball in yesterday's video. But Shelby Harris, a very good defensive player, and Noah Font. But giving up Landon Collins uh, for money because you couldn't restructure a deal after bringing in someone like Wentz, which seems like that's a move by the commander saying they feel they're fairly close to being able to be a very competitive team, it doesn't seem to make much sense. In my own opinion, you're getting rid of one of the uh, best secondary men in the league still, um, <clears throat> just to save a little bit of cheddar when you brought in a great quarterback. And it seems like those two things will kind of go together more than rather getting rid of Landon Collins just because you weren't able to do it. Where um, it said they asked, the quote is, they asked me to take a pay cut. Collins told Anderson the first one was fine. Then they asked me to take another one. The money changed after they signed Carson Wentz. I'll just take my chances in free agency. So, again, it was literally because Carson Wentz got brought in. But it still, to me, makes no sense from the Washington commander's perspective because you're going to want the great defense, which is a big thing. And Collins was a huge part of it, of the commander's last year, was their solid defense. It wasn't their offense. It was their solid defense. So now that you brought in Wentz, you would think that would help uh, your your offense, hopefully, still overpaid, as I said in the video when I did it on uh, Carson Wentz going to the Commanders, that if you want to go back and check that out on my channel, but even so, you would hope he helps your offense, and now you're getting rid of one of your best defenders, It that doesn't seem to make a hell of a lot of sense, that's clearly just a pro, clearly just a pro financial move, and absolutely nothing more, because skill-wise, Landon Collins deserves to still be playing for that team, because he was one of their best defenders last year. Um, when it comes to uh, Khalil Mack, that was something, I, I honestly thought he was going to stay with the Bears, I thought the Bears were a team, he would be good to keep there, they're building something, uh, they're a team that I think are going to have a very good year out of Justin Fields, I think he's going to be one of the best leaps from rookie year to second year, because hopefully they're going to put better stuff around him as he, this uh, offseason continues to go on, and also, of course, uh, they are able to draft people as well, hopefully they're able to build that team around Justin Fields, so I thought they would keep Khalil Mack. But they don't. They decide to trade him. And back, the Chargers uh, traded them a second-round pick in 2022 and a 2023 six-round pick. Um, <clears throat> the deal uh, will be confer is f officially confirmed once, obviously, he passes the physical, at Ravenport said, and Mack agrees to the adjustments of his contract um, needed for this deal to take place. But Khalil Mack on the Chargers... That's a very nice move for a team that needs to continue to add to that defense. They already have, obviously, top-notch stars on the defense. Now they add another one. And as, <clears throat> now it's just about adding protection around your star quarterback in Justin Herbert and more weapons around him. And then that team is kind of set. But I don't think this move for Khalil Mack is by any stretch similar to the move by Denver, which clearly puts them in Super Bowl contention when they were able to get Russell Wilson, where this is more similar to a move that the commanders were able to bring in or Carson Wentz, where they're going to continue to build and try to get closer. But I would say when it comes to the Chargers, they are much closer than the commanders, where the commanders took a huge risk getting Carson Wentz and taking on all of his money. And, and then they took an even bigger risk. They compounded that risk by getting rid of Landon Collins, telling him to take a second pay cut because they got Carson Wentz, so now they got rid of one of the best defenders. So they took two risks just for bringing in Carson Wentz. I would be very happy as a Chargers fan for getting someone to the level of Khalil Mack. They should have a the, the Chargers should have the potential to have a top fifteen defense next year if they can continue to build it. Maybe even a top ten if that compared with Justin Herbert, and if you can continue to get the protection um around him and protection meaning not just the O line but also guys so you can get the ball out there quickly and they can make plays, continue to draft those guys and pick them up. Well they're gonna be golden. They're just in my eyes not a top Super Bowl contender like the Denver Broncos became after Russell Wilson went there. But this has been a quick video on Khalil Mack getting traded to the San Diego Chargers as well as Landon Collins 
uh, parting ways with the Washington Commanders. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please continue to subscribe down below or if you're following the Easy to Use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the offseason.